Hey, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center, part two of our uphill, downhill, side hill series. Uphill shots, extremely important. For those of you who have a tendency to slide or sway in your backswing, this is an incredibly potent remedy for this, okay? So if your tendency is to sway in your backswing, instead of turn in your backswing, you're gonna love this. So once again, weight on the downhill leg. Toe it open slightly for better support. If you sway down the hill, you're a goner. So you'll notice here, you'll feel the need to really stay inside your right foot. Now, if your weight stays inside your right foot, this forces your posterior up the hill. You will feel an amazing turn. You'll feel the left knee rotate in behind the ball. Don't worry about the left heel coming off the ground. It's not an issue. So everything turns behind the ball right here. Now, imagine I'm a mountain climber. I'm at the top of the hill and I got my mountain climber down here. I'm standing sideways and I want to lend him a hand. I'm going to take the club and give him the club head so he can grab onto it and then I'm going to pull him up, okay? So if I slide and he grabs his club, we're both gone. So naturally, you'll tend to stay right in here. So you notice how my rib cage and pelvis, all right? Let's go back to um, learn your golf machine with Scully. You'll remember the rib cage and the pelvis are sitting on top of the hips. The spine has got its stop, built-in stoppers to prevent it from twisting. So everything turns from here, from your turntable. So just let everything turn right away, boom, see? So by the time I'm waist high, everything's already fully turned. All I gotta do is let my right arm fold, my wrist hinge, and I'm ready to go. The sensation when you're on the uphill slope, when you're swinging upwards up the slope towards the target, it is very much a pulling sensation, just like you're in a tug of war. So you turn to give your, 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 your buddy the rope or your opponent the rope, and then you wanna feel like you're pulling him up the slope towards the target. So you notice how my right foot stays on the ground all the way to the finish. Do not attempt to shift your weight up the hill. In order for me to shift my weight up the hill, I have to lean into the hill. If I lean into the hill, I will compromise my angle, my axis of rotation here. And then I'm gonna stick the club into the ground. So that's gonna hurt, number one. Number two, you'll have a tendency to pull it left. So never try to shift your weight up the hill. Use your leverage to pull the club up the slope. So notice at the end of my swing, if you tried to pull me back down the hill, you couldn't do it. I still got my leverage. If you tried to push me into the slope, you'd have a hard time as well because I am braced. 60, 40. Notice how my head maintains its angle so I can swing up that slope. So turn to get your leverage. Once you have your leverage, pull, whip the club up the slope. If you don't finish the backswing, you'll tend to push or shove the club up the slope. That's the sensation you don't want. You don't want to ever feel like you're pushing the club up the slope. You always want to feel like you're pull whipping the club up the slope. Just like a little bull whip, pull the, the bull whip and snap the bull whip toward the target up the hill. So let's have a look. My posture. So you notice here it feels like I'm able to whip the club up the slope. Here it feels like I'm, I'm gonna be swinging into the slope. Notice how my head's forward. Here it feels like I'm going up the slope, inside my right foot, still inside my right foot. Pull my club up the slope. So notice how balanced I am in my finish position right here, and how bolted I am to the hill. I'm king of this hill, okay? That's how you wanna feel at the end of the swing. You wanna feel that you are the king of that hill, all right? or queen. <laughs> so, nice grip, nice posture. Get ready to swing up the slope. Now, if I whip, 
pull whip the club up the hill, does it feel like the ball and the turf in front of the ball are in the way? Yes, it does. So I'm going to go high draw over the target, back to between the two targets, effortless, powerful whip over that target. All I see right now is above that target, and I'm feeling that pull whip out there. Here we go. Oh, just amazing. That was so solid, really compressed, right up that hill. When you master this shot, it will, it will feel like one of the most uh, powerful shots you will execute. I've hit just miracle shots off these lies right here. Like we're talking really long three irons, 250 yard three irons, 290 yard three woods, because the ball just won't come down. So the launch angle that you have on those particular shots is a lot higher. So you will tend to, to, to hit your long irons and woods farther I mean, obviously, you have to have a decent lie. Number two, when you get to the shorter clubs, like the nine iron, it'll tend to go a lot higher. So if you're into the wind, take that into consideration. It will be a moon shot. And you will lose a little bit of distance with the short irons. Mid irons will stay about the same. They'll just go much higher. So take the wind into consideration. If you're downwind, it'll go much farther. If you're into the wind, it'll go a lot shorter, okay? So, grip. Posture, get ready to pull the club up the hill. Here we go. I'll put one in slow motion for you guys right now. All right, here it is. So now let's look at it down the line. So if I'm going up the slope, get ready to go up the slope. Notice how it looks like I'm going go high and right. Now I'm already behind the ball right now. So at impact, see where I'm going? You see the blur of the club, how it's going straight? It looks like I'm going to the right at address, but watch the blur. There we go. So that's going to be going between the two posters right there. See how bolted I am into my finish? See how my spine angle is still intact? So for those of you who have trouble maintaining spine angle through the shot, when you keep your right foot on the ground all the way through to the finish, your spine angle will be well maintained which will lead us to ball below the feet, which is in the next segment. We'll see you then.